What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another trail camera video. This time I thought I'd do something different instead of just leaving piles of food out in the woods. I thought I'd leave a trail camera on a trail for 60 days is the original plan. It ended up being 70 days. <laughs> Look at that little puff ball of a goose. That is cool. I uh, ended up leaving it out there 70 days and this may be the best video decision I've made all year. So, got some geese running around, going back and forth. I'm guessing they're just eating all the little bugs and seeds. Look at all these little guys. These geese are uh, prolific. Look at them, they keep coming. What do they have, like 10? I think it count like nine, nine or 10, count them up. However many they have, little goslings there. They're super cute when they're that small. Um, you'll see them uh, change over time here. But I just wasn't getting much action in front of the camera. Yeah, as you can see, it's day 13 already. And besides some geese and just a few other little things, not a lot was happening, so I thought I need to spice things up with some corn. So I sprinkled some uh, deer corn that I got from Walmart on the ground, and it didn't take long for uh, them to figure out. Look at all, lots of blue jays. Didn't take long for the birds to figure out that there was a scattering of corn and they were really enjoying it. The blue jays just kept coming and going and then this black bird found it. They would just grab a few kernels and then leave, you know, eat light. At least that's what they should do. Uh, some of the birds don't practice light eating and you see how it affects them later on. But this is still early. There is a woodpecker at the bottom of the screen there. And uh, then you got a little bird here just minding his own business and then gets bullied by a blue jay. A couple of blue jays. They are mean, you know? They're just a mean bird. I don't care for blue jays very much. They're cool to look at. I, I think they're beautiful, but they are just a mean bird. And then here's a cardinal that wants in on the action. And you can see another one in the back. That is beautiful. Cardinal's getting in there. And note the size of the cardinal. Very slender, normal looking bird. Uh, that'll, that'll change a little bit later. But the birds were absolutely loving the corn. And then yeah, yeah, squirrel bully and the blue jay. See how you like it. And then check this out. The deer must have swum across the river wet and shaking, did they smell it from the other side? Whew, yeah, it's cold. The spring runoff is happening right now. The river is high and brown and icy cold. Don't you snot on my trail camera. That river is cold and they braved it to get over to this corn. Can they smell it from that distance? I'm not really sure. I mean, it had to be over 100 yards, I'm guessing. Um, I'm, if somebody would enlighten me in the comment section, I'm guessing they can. <laughs> smell it from that far, but he is shivering. Yeah, get in the sunlight there, dude. Look at the little nubbins of antlers starting to come up. But he is so cold. That river is icy. <laughs> that is amazing. I love it. They absolutely mowed through the corn here. They were hungry from the long winter, I'm guessing. Yeah, fatten up there. Yeah, take a scratch, scratch yourself, do whatever you need to. Then you see here a squirrel joins him. A little skittish of him, but uh, he continued to eat no matter what was happening. In fact, I have a ton of squirrel eating corn in front of camera that I cut out because it's just him sitting there chowing down. And even when other animals came, he kind of just ate around them. Uh, take note of the deer's antlers at this stage because that's going to change later on in the video. Then the next day had quite a bit of bird action again. This time you got geese, you got a blackbird, you got some other bird in the background there. And you got the little fuzzballs that are getting a little bigger. Everything is enjoying the corn. I really like feeding the animals. I'm not much of a hunter. Uh, nothing against hunting. Um, might hunt, take it up, you know, one day, but uh, right now I just like watching everything. Yeah, it's cool. But watch here. Uh, there's something going down, man. There's some confrontation. Some fight is about to break out here. Yeah. 
Yikes. Don't know what happened off camera, but wouldn't want to mess with a goose. Uh, here he comes back. There we go. Took care of business. <laughs> she, it's probably the mama goose. Man, they are uh, they're a bird with a lion's mentality. They will not back down. The corn was so effective, I decided to scatter some more down. I kind of think I need it for this island to draw the animals uh, to this corner and to the island in general. I'm not sure how many uh, full-time residents, you could say, uh, that live on it. The squirrels definitely do, I think. Uh, it's plenty big enough for them. I don't think they swim back and forth. I've never seen a swimming squirrel before. I'm sure they can. I know they can, actually, but... I'm not sure how often they, uh, they they swim back and forth. I think they could live on the island, all that to say. The geese came back, and the geese were just loving McLovin' the corn. The little gauzings are starting to get a little bigger. You can see somewhat of a size difference. We're on day 20 here. That one is definitely getting bigger. That was definitely kind of the strong one of the group. And it's cool because it doesn't appear Maybe the geese have lost very many. Uh, if you've noticed, like, if they live in your yard or whatever, in the springtime, they'll start off, say, with, like, ten babies. And then you'll see them a week or two later, and they have seven. And then a week or two later, they're down to five. And then only three or whatever become adults. Um, so I think that they're doing a pretty good job. This mom is having a hard time eating because the babies, I think they keep... <laughs> they want to be wherever she is, unless she's breaking the food up or something for them. Maybe she's doing that. But uh, these, these parents are, are good geese parents. That's, that's a lot of goslings to have after all this time. And here's a cool shot at night. The trail camera turned on a little late, but that is an otter. In fact, let's do a replay here. River otter swam. I don't know that he ate any of the corn, but I think he's probably smelled it and at least checked it out. So that was cool. It's not very often you get a river otter. Uh, on these trail cameras and then the crow found it and the squirrel of course has been imbibing pretty much every day and he's like yo get out of here he, you notice he charged him but it was kind of a half-hearted charge I wouldn't mess with the crow bro the squirrel is definitely miffed even though he's had more than enough to eat the little piggy he's still miffed at the crow <laughs> all bad yeah like, whoa whoa he's like get out of here this is my corn a little bully kind of but i don't know kind of he he uh he's got to fight for he's at the bottom of the food chain you know he has to fight for whatever he can get almost everything's bigger than him you know even these crows way bigger than him all right so you'll notice here that the crows are loading up their beaks look how this one is loading up his beak and flying off without eating it. I think that they're taking it back to their nest. Maybe feeding their baby since it's the springtime. Look at him. He can barely keep all the corn in his mouth. Not eating it. But that was really interesting. I've never seen that before. Never seen this before either. Squirrel getting all excited over the woodpecker. Woodpecker's like, look, I'm just, I'm just sitting here. That is actually a red-bellied woodpecker, even though it has a red crest. It's actually red-bellied woodpecker and then whatever that creature was that happened like in the middle of the night and then this is early in the morning the deer are all excited they kind of got scared into view there they're a little a uh, little on edge though the corn stopped them but they seem to be just a little excited then this deer discovered the camera <laughs> that's been there the whole time bro <laughs> like what is that and then runs off. Look how they're all acting a little skittish. That's interesting. Uh, now here we have some cardinal action, okay? Now I want you folks to notice the size of this cardinal. I might have a problem here, ladies and gentlemen. I might be uh, overfeeding the wildlife just a little bit. This dude is looking very large and in charge here. I, I might be putting down too much corn. We're on day 24, and this is now what the cardinals are looking like. Can this guy even fly? 
Okay, barely, barely. But if a cat gets him, I take no responsibility for that. And then this was really neat. Uh, what kind of woodpecker is this, folks? I, I get mixed up between the red-crested, red-bellied, all the different kinds. If somebody can let me know in the comments, I would appreciate that because I don't want to lead people wrong. Lay down a pile of corn now. All right, we're on to... I didn't scatter this one. Decided to put it in a pile. And Rock Chuck finds it. But he just blew right past it. Was not interested at all. That was kind of surprising to me. And then we got a squirrel here guarding the corn pile. I should have maybe spread it out a little bit. But he did significant damage. <laughs> spread it out a little bit himself as he chewed on all the pieces. Yeah, it got a bigger squirrel after, or there's uh, there's romances in the air, shall we say. Try to keep this a kid's channel. Um, but I thought this shot was cool. Look at the bug hovering in front of the camera. That was kind of fun. Uh, and then at night, those raccoons did damage, and uh, this little deer is sniffing around. But uh, I'm sorry, lady, there ain't no more corn. I'll have to put out some more. I thought this was cool because... The raccoon is out right in the middle of the day, and I don't get that a lot on my trail camera. They almost always come out at night. So this was interesting why uh, this raccoon was out. Smelled that there was some corn there, or maybe this has been one of the culprits in the middle of the night, so came back for a little midday snack. But there was nothing. And folks, this might be one of the cooler things I've ever gotten on a trail camera. Already notice the leaf growing in front of the camera. I just started at night. All right, we're on day 40. And then still on day 40, this is the middle of the day. Look how much it had grown up. And then this is at night. Still, this is this is uh this is PM. And now this is day 41 in the middle of the day. Look how fast it's growing. This has been in like 48 hours or less. This sprig grew up and we got a deer here who's hungry. Oh yes. She's hungry. She's limping a little bit it seems like. Looking around for little green morsels, little new shoots to chow down on. So we just watched this little shoot grow up right in front of the camera. And ooh, what do we have here? She eats it. <laughs> that is so cool. That I, gosh, that is cool. To have a shoot grow up straight in front of it like that. <laughs> and have her eat it. I don't know, man. That was, that was satisfying. That was satisfying. Very cool. All right, we're on day 45 now. Uh, look how the goslings have grown up. They are starting to reach that stage, though, where they're almost ugly. It seems like all birds go through that stage where they're like super cute as babies and they're, you know, cool as adults. But they go through that middle awkward stage where their feathers are growing and they're, they're just rough looking. And these ones aren't quite there yet, but they're, they're getting there. Look how many of them there are still. These two geese have absolutely done a great job of protecting their young. Here's the otter again, just running through at night. Wish I could get him in the middle of the day. Wish he'd pause in front of the camera, but he won't. But uh, those, those uh, geese are great parents. And speaking of parents, if you'll notice the girth on this doe here, she is looking rather large. No disrespect, she's just, she just is. And uh, she gives us a nice shot here, as if we couldn't see. But definitely a pregnant deer. Okay, <laughs> okay. All right. We see ya. But just walking around, here's a little skinny one, so you can see the size difference. And this first time having ducks in front of the trail camera. And I don't know what it was, but the deer took issue with the ducks. Don't know what happened there, but I just, just interesting it, it's just so amazing what happens in the woods like when nobody is around you know, just random stuff like deer chasing ducks down you just don't see that until you leave a trail camera up but this was really cool folks the deer lays down which is also something i haven't gotten in front of my trail camera and the deer obviously feel safe on this part of the island in fact one of them lays down right in the middle of the trail and we're into june now you see it's day 65 and she chilled for a long time. 
front of the trail camera. And that lets me know that they were feeling safe. We haven't seen many predators like uh, bears or coyotes or anything like that. And she hung out there till the evening time. The deer were relaxed and comfortable. Uh, this buck certainly was. Okay, okay dude, not, not in front of the camera. Uh, all right, stop, stop. Anyway, I thought his antlers were cool. They're starting to come in. They're all fuzzy and uh, feeling very, very at home on this part of the island. And that led to this. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a thicket behind the trail camera, a really thick area. And I think that this doe gave birth in the middle of the night. This fawn is so new that the mom is still licking him. And based on how wobbly he is, I think he was born last night. This might be one of the most amazing things I've ever gotten on my trail camera. Really. <laughs> how cute the little fella is. She just kept walking back and forth, kept following her around. And then watch this. So she sensed some danger or something. She freaks out for a second. And the little guy lays down. I've actually seen this a couple other times before, never on a trail camera, but in other situations where a baby was laying down. And I think what happens is either they know this instinctively or the mom like gives some sort of little signal and the baby lays down whenever there's danger near. And then the mom either distracts it or, you know, charges it or whatever she's going to do. But the baby has to lay down and the mom takes care of business or, or distracts the, uh, the predator. Or they were just practicing. I don't know. <laughs> Look at yeah, she's cleaning them up good. They just kept walking back and forth. This is the same day. And I think she was just giving them exercise, just kind of bonding with her little fawn, nursing. And what's really cool about this is I was gonna make this a 60 day set for the trail cameras, but the river flooded and I couldn't get out to the island. So I decided just to leave them out there for an additional 10 days and make it a 70 day set. And that turned out to be such a blessing because this is day 67 that all this happened. And if the river hadn't flooded, I would have gone out there and pulled the trail cameras in and I never would have gotten any of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. We'll do this again next year. <laughs>